Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. This is the Cloud Pilot and in this video, I am excited to share my personal journey of achieving the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer CKAD certification. If you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel, the Cloud Pilot for more informative content like this and let's dive right in. My journey with Kubernetes started in 2020 when I first heard about it while exploring the world of cloud computing. Initially, I hesitated due to fears of failure and the associated cost. I quickly realized that my lack of confidence was holding me back. Once I committed, I discovered an invaluable resource. Mumshad's CKAD course on Code Cloud. This comprehensive course was a game changer and I secured a Code Cloud subscription to embark on this learning journey. I followed a strategic study plan that greatly contributed to my success. And here is how it unfolded. Weeks 1 and 2, I immersed myself in the Code Cloud CKAD course and I got myself engaging in practice labs so that I could reinforce the concepts. And in week 3, I tackled the first session of Killer Shell, took some mock tests and revisited crucial concepts. And in week 4, I took on Kubernetes challenges on Code Cloud and intensified these mock tests and conquered the second Killer Shell session. The CKAD certification signifies the ability to design, build, monitor and troubleshoot applications in Kubernetes. It was priced at $375 at the time when I took it. And the exam is conducted online in a performance based environment. It will present you with a series of tasks to be completed within a two hour window. When you purchase the exam, you also gain access to two killer shell sessions that provides an emulator to enhance your preparation. Aim for above 90% in Killer Shell because it prepares you well for the actual exam. Killer Shell is actually harder than the actual exam. The more you score on Killer Shell, the higher the chance you can pass the actual exam. Understand the distribution of the topics. Every question in the exam has a specific weightage and it will be mentioned in the question. So when you are attempting for these questions, look at what is the weightage that question has and then try to prioritize based on the higher weights. And you also have to stay updated because you have to be aware of any changes in the exam format. Keep a close watch on time. You may not get enough time to finish the exam and you have to utilize imperative commands like kubectl get pods wherever possible to streamline the task. And the context also matters because you have to pay attention to the context of each question and it can actually influence your approach. I achieved above 90% in the killer shell and this preparation paid off in the exam. I found the questions manageable and completed the test within the allowed time. After eagerly awaiting the, for the results for one day, I was thrilled to see the pass label. There are only three resources that were instrumental in my success. Code Cloud CKAD course by Mumshad, the Killer Shell sessions and the Killer Coda sessions that also gives you some Kubernetes scenarios to work on. And here is my certificate which has a validity of three years. Obtaining the Kubernetes CKAD certification is a significant achievement that requires dedicated effort and a solid study strategy. Remember, with the right approach, success is well within your reach. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content. Until next time, happy learning and best of luck on your CKD journey.